Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we want to create an awesome scene by assisting drop shadow effect. We are utilizing with so many options such as shapes and layers and finally add the effect into the elements. Let's get it started and create the scene. If you are interested in this video, please subscribe to my channel for reaching to the previous lectures and click on the bell button so whenever I publish a new video, you are the first one who can watch it. Okay everybody, opposite of other videos, I've prepared some colors which are useful for this project for you and I'll tell you the color codes. So let's get it started. At first, I select the paintbrush tool and create a custom shape. For example, I change the stroke color to black and I start creating. Okay, now I customize it. Okay, this is my shape. Before I start recording this video, I create a full rectangle into the artboard and now I add the first color into it. With the eyedropper tool, I select the eyedropper and select the color and now I show you the color code F8F8F8. You can add it into your file and then press OK. This is the top layer. Now I select my rectangle and with holding the shift key, I select my pass and go to pathfinder and the second option is minus front. I click on it. I cut my shape into my rectangle. Very good. Okay, now this is my rectangle. From here in the layers panel, if you don't have it in the menu bar, select the window and we have the layers or by pressing F7 key you can activate it I select it hold the left key and put it into this bottom which is for creating a new layer here you are this is the new layer and again I hold it and put it at the behind of my first layer okay and now I change the color to number two select the eyedropper select the number two and now I scale it down very good and now I show you the color code of number two this is it EDF0FB add it into your artboard and press OK very good and now again I create a full rectangle the layer is here, I put it behind all of them, select this rectangle and change the color to number 3. This is the color code of number 3, D2, D8, F9 and press OK. Ok now I select it, let me lock other layers, I select the rectangle and again I want to improvise another shape. Now I select the paintbrush tool and again create a shape. Let me activate the stroke. Okay, that's great. I select my pass, put it here, and now I custom it. Okay, now I put the pass into top of my rectangle, select both of them. Go to Pathfinder and again select minus front. Select my rectangle and disable the stroke. Again, I will do this process for another inner layer. Okay. This is the another shape. Again, I select it, select my rectangle here, put the pass into here, select both of them and use the minus fronts. Very easy. Select my rectangle and disable the stroke. 
And now the last layer, I select this layer, hold the left key and put it for creating a new layer, put it at the behind, lock this layer, select it and scale it down by holding alt and shift key. Okay, and now select it and change the color to this color. Very good. Again, disable the strokes and now I customize it. Okay, that's great. Again, for the last time, I create a full rectangle, put it at the behind and change the color to number seven. Let me show you the color codes. I forgot it. This is the number seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, zero. This is number six. Let me deselect it. This is number six. Zero four zero D four seven. Press OK. This is number five. One C three five seven seven. This is number four. Six two seven B C D. I told you these colors. OK. Again, lock all of them, save my document, and now I start creating some clouds. By the ellipse tool, you can create some clouds. Okay, this is my cloud. I select all of the layers right click and press group now this is a group this is my cloud i select it and put it here for changing the color i select number 10 this is the code f8 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 this is just like the number one but i separate it for better understanding okay this is my first cloud i need another one here I reflect it or if you don't want to do this into your cloud you can select it go to object transform and select the reflect and here you are this is my previous cloud I select it object transform reflect and reflect it in vertical axis and press ok And now the last element I want to create is a sun. At first, I create a circle, change the color to number 8. This is the color code FEE57C and press OK. And after that, go to Shape Tools, select the Star Tool, press left click and change the points, for example, to 15. Sorry, 15. And radius to 100 pixel in 80 pixel here you are select it and now change the color to number 9 by eyedropper tool this is the new color code fed044 use it into your document actually select the circle go to arrange bring it to front and now put it here scale it down select both of them go to align select the horizontal align center and vertical align center and now select both of them put it here okay now i've created all of the elements into my project and after this time i just want to play with the layers and arrange all of the elements into my project okay let's start it these are my clouds i have some layers here this is my black layer and actually this is the first layer yes this is the first one and this is the second one i select both of them and put them at the top let me increase the space of the layers panel here you are after that i select this group select this cloud hold the shift select this one and select this one select all of them into the layers and put them 
behind of my background. After that, I need the third background. This is the third background. I put it here. After that, I select this cloud and I want to put it at the top of the black layer. What's happened? Now this is it. I select this cloud and put it here. Okay, now this is the last step for creating this beautiful scene. I want to add the drop shadow effect. Actually, this video will create it for working with the drop shadow. But beside that, I want to represent you a beautiful project. And I want to create it at home and send me your feedbacks, send me your works, send me your arts, and we will discuss it. Okay, now it this step. I want to unlock some layers. This is the color group and this is my background. I don't need them. And now from here I select all of the layers, go to effect, stylize and select the drop shadow. Here you can change the mode for example to multiply, to normal, to screen, to overlay, to every mode you want. All of them are beautiful. For example I press ok and this is the overlay drop shadow. Again I go to effect stylize drop shadow change the mode to multiply change the opacity for example 90 percent x offset 20 pixel is okay y offset 20 pixel is okay and blur 50 pixel is okay for example i want to decrease the blur number that's it you can see the differences but what i put it to 30 pixel i think that is okay or again if i put it back to 100 Put it to 60. No, that's too dark. Put it to 30. That's great. I press OK. OK, that's it. This is my final scene. You can create it at home. That is so easy. But you should be patient in working with Illustrator and creating arts. OK, that is enough for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you in the next video.